Hi guys, welcome back to Factorio. Um, so I have almost scaled this up, I just need some lights. Um, so we now have a fifth line coming into each of these. Uh, that's the first thing. I'm gonna go grab myself some lights. Uh, <clears throat> and so I'm gonna make the second line of uh, uh, chips gonna come through. Uh, weirdly enough, I think actually it doesn't need to be blue belted anymore. No, it's actually perfectly fine with this. It's just one. This is basically one red belt's worth of uh, green chips, which is pretty good. It's uh, also coming in with uh, a lot of uh, other good stuff. It needs uh, two red belts, I guess, of uh, iron as well. But that's that's all good. And we just finished rocket speed. We can get the last rocket speed, or we can do some other upgrades. I don't know. I don't really care. I mean. We don't really need this, but whatever. Okay, oh, fuck it, whatever, I don't, I don't care, whatever. So, uh, let's get some lights. Let's get some lights first. Uh, what else do we need here? How are we doing for power poles? We're doing okay, I'm just gonna get any kind of materials that we uh, may plausibly need. What is, what is the, yeah, there's a lot of underground belts here, so we're gonna get probably another stack of those. Because we're copying and pasting that, like I said. Uh, that, that, that's worked fine. So, science is now actually kind of backed up. Kind of, I say. Because it's actually not really backed up. It's, of course, it's miners again. Because there's not enough green ships and gears are barely making it down the line, too. But it's the gears are kind of being used up here, too. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe priority splitter or something. But anyways, um, so... Uh, we now have 15 minutes. I just want to mention for for each productivity module three, this each one of these motherfuckers is 2,300 uh, copper each, and like 720 iron and stuff like that. Fuck, like holy shit, that's a shit ton. Remember, remember the days when we were like like working with the, like the burner fucking drills over here and like, oh man, like science one requires a gear. Oh god, we don't have enough for that. Yeah, welcome to uh, welcome to my life. Uh, and you know, and, and on that note, I haven't really talked a whole lot about um, um, marathon mode versus standard mode because you guys have been seeing me play it. I don't know, maybe maybe, uh, maybe you're a fa factory. Like I, I assume that there's all sorts of people maybe watching up to this point. Maybe you haven't played a lot of Factorio. Maybe you have played a lot of Factorio. But maybe you've not played so much on Marathon mode or any or Death World or anything like that. So you know, I wanted to talk about that for a little bit while we do that. So why do I play on uh, Marathon mode first of all? I don't I don't play on anything other than Marathon mode these days. I really don't. Um, and it's for the sole reason I'm like I I, I should mention I, I'm like I'm not like an elitist prick. I don't believe like like one way of playing a game is like the only way you should play it, and then you know it's like blah 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 blah, blah things like that. Um, I I do not believe that at all. Like it's just whatever you have fun with, you have fun with. So have fun with it. You know, kind of kind of a deal. Um, that's 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 what I believe. That's why I sincerely believe with that. So I I, I don't I don't worry too much about that kind of stuff. Um, marathon mode I think is great because it. It really illustrates um, inefficiencies within your factory, and they become very much uh, much higher. So, remember how I said before, like you could, if you, in theory, if you wanted to, take this iron and just belt it all the way up here to up there, and like then you kind of have your your iron there, or like, and you don't even have to have walls around it, and you just like deal with the biters as you fix it. But like, the the more you do that kind of stuff on marathon mode the more of those inefficiencies kind of come out to bite you in the ass and the game becomes immeasurably more difficult. I have not done things perfectly here. Uh, not by any stretch of the imagination. What is this, four to five? No, we want five to five. Holy shit, I don't even know how this works. Uh, okay, maybe we'll do it like up here-ish. All right, this is interesting. I shouldn't do it like that. Whoops. No, no, no. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, yeah. Oh, fuck. They're helping me out. No, why would you help me? You stupid, useful bots. I hate it when they come and try and assist me. Alright. Um, trying to think of the best way of dealing with this. 
And unfortunately, everything has copper plates now. All right, let's do something like this, and then... So yeah, I, I like this mode because it, like, it forces you to be not sloppy. Uh, which is, I, I find that to be a really fun way to play the game. Like, you know, you just... I, I, that's just how I play it. Like, it's just, you know, you, not, not everybody has to play it this way, but, you know, it's, it's the way I like to play it. All right, so they're going to put some of the stuff down. We're gonna let them do. Holy shit! There's a lot of bots here. So, anyways, that, I I found that to be like the best way of playing. It's the most punishing uh, mode in in with respect to being efficient. Um, plenty of people play it without without that on, uh, and there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not an elitist. Um, in in ex particularly in these kinds of games, I don't understand why someone would be an elitist. In Factorio, but you know, I, I, I'm sure they exist. Uh, so we're gonna just let them, you know, do their thing, and that's it for that. All right. So today's uh, episode will take us on a merry adventure to. Uh, so we we kind of spent a bit of time upgrading our copper as much as humanly possible, but uh, as you know, it's it isn't enough. Um, it's never enough. It's never enough copper for us, but we can upgrade a lot of it now. So. I'm gonna bring this actually up here, and I'm gonna destroy the line. So how many how many lines do I have now? I have one, two, three, four, five. What the fuck? Did I really make a six? Or am I just high on something? I really did make a six balancer. Oh, whoopsies! All right, so I'm 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 bad. I'm bad at video games. So let's just uh, remove this. All right. We'll just uh, let this go. Fuck it, you know, do this. Uh, as I said, I just, I kind of just let these things work out themselves because, you know, I, I'm just like, whatever. I'm a simple man. Um, like, like, I, 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 this is actually my first factory where I've actually attempted to use balancers to begin with. Um, so I'm actually fairly interested to see if it has an effect. So the idea is, like, as I said, if not all the furnaces are going, then we have, like, kind of like, as much as we can possibly humanly have, right? In terms of copper going into everything. And so that's, that's the whole point of balancers, is to equalize uh, resource uh, inputs and outputs. So uh, that's how that works. Uh, why is this one not going anywhere? We have a lot of copper with us though, so that's unfortunate. Um, I kind of want to remove the copper I have though, so let's uh, do that maybe. And, and unfortunately, I do things like this, so like then, like then, my copper seriously becomes fucked up. <laughs> but but you know, it, it, I, like the idea is it will equalize itself out. All right, that's that's the plan. Uh, yeah, we don't, we'll have to see how that works out. All right, so that's not so bad. Uh, we can also remove this line, although this line is going to have copper on it, so it's going to be like, hey. People of Earth, give lend me your copper. But that's that's okay. This is this is perfectly fine. All right. We also have that extra iron line, so we gotta essentially do the same thing, which is obviously great great amounts of fun. Uh, yeah, fucking pick up the bots, because we still to this day do not have a better uh, armor system. Um, and and I know this, uh, and it's just not nothing we can do about that for the moment. Yeah. You guys remove these. Um, there's apparently petroleum in my way. Alright. Alright, not so bad. That's that's all we want to do, is this right here. So let's just make sure we pick up all the bots. Don't worry, the, the day that we're doing this will end very shortly. Uh, very soon, or shortly, whenever. Uh, so that's good. Okay. Now that this is good, we have now another line of copper we can potentially use for more chips. But we also need to upgrade this, so... Let's get this going. So once again, we added another line. So um, just take out our handy dandy blueprint book. And we trust. By the way, I know these aren't aligned up. I think that the one line of furnaces is lower by one pixel. Um, I tried to kind of line them up, but uh, I guess I didn't. And uh, having to fix that would mean I'd have to tear up literally everything. So I, I know there are some people in this universe that would actually do that, uh, but 
just to fix one pixel. Because <laughs> every time I look at that, it's going to be a reminder of uh, <laughs> how they fucked up. But uh, we're not doing that, so we're good. Okay. So we trust in the balancers. Um, in balancers, we trust. Okay, so that's all done. So this call is reaching 500k. Um, eventually, we're going to plug in a train for that. So, but not now. I've added a couple more trains for everything. Also, I, I'll go. I'll hop down there. I've added a couple more trains. Not for the copper though. The copper doesn't have any more trains. Uh, like I said, I I don't really care too much. Um, as long as as long as resources are generally coming in, I guess I guess it doesn't matter. But like at some point, yeah, we're going to come to a point where we're going to be like uh, probably like another four or five episodes are going to be we're basically going to spend our time building stuff and then once again we're going to be thinking about expanding the factory again because i think i got enough resources now because we got all the stone we got all the iron we got some of the like this copper is going to run out how many trains are going to this two trains at the moment so it'd be good to divert one of those actually right now uh where is this one okay we'll, we'll divert to this one so it's a very easy way of uh diverting it uh, where's our copper train? So we just find one of the ones that goes to copper four. We copy that. And we, what, what, what was that station called? Copper one. All right. And we can actually find the trains through our train menu here, actually. We're, we're, okay, this guy goes to copper one. Where is he? I don't think I could paste it here, though. No, I can't. But I, I, I know he's there now. So he goes to copper one. And if I paste it now... There. I did a long, long range reroute of the... Uh, trains. That's good. I didn't show you some of the stuff. So this is like all the trains we have working right now. Uh, we have a lot of fucking trains. <laughs> uh, but that's why we make this complicated train network. And it's like I said before, like, uh, any inefficiencies in Factorio in marathon mode is really amplified. Um, so, I mean, if, if you're a veteran of the game, you may notice things that I do that are inefficient that I just simply am not aware of. Um, you know, so that, that happens. Fuck it. Whatever. Um... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm whatever. I'm, I'm an, I'm an easygoing guy. What can I say? Um, but yeah, I mean, it happens. So what we're going to do now is, uh, oh, this is a good blueprint right here. All right, let's take all this. Good enough. That's it. And I, I think we'll just put it up here, but I don't know, man. Like, should I put, should I, I probably should just put it lower, honestly. It doesn't need to be that high up. Like this, it's just that's how this goes. Because maybe I could put something. Out. Well, actually, I might put steel more more steel furnaces over here. Actually, it just occurred to me. I did say that that maybe I'll do that. So, unfortunately, there's some fucking boxes here. So, uh, we're gonna have to do something about this. Actually, then. So we gotta get rid of some of this garbage now. Where's my car at? Where's my wheels? Uh, there it is. Okay. So we bring the car over because the car doubles as a portable um, move shit around. Like I have, I have iron ore here, but we really actually didn't need the iron ore and the cement we have as well. But we're making cement in another place now, so it was just the box that left over from various things. But yeah, we can just get rid of them all. Also have more walls and whatever. So let's see if we can get rid of these. Uh, it's a lot of stone. I don't think I, I don't think I have anywhere I can put the stone. Because I'm pretty sure I have a box here that you would put, I was filling it up before as well, and it still has 2.2k, so let's go, just head up to the stone furnaces. I just need to offload this stuff. Not okay, there is, I did make space to drive through a lot of this stuff, but there, there's still a friggin' tree in the way here. How dare it. I mean, this is just the nature of how this game works. Sometimes you just need to be able to offload materials that you don't need. I mean, if you had a really nice logistics network, which I do, currently do not have, uh, you know, you can maybe do something different than than how I do this. But um, as I said, I acknowledge my own inefficiencies sometimes. I, I mean, it's it's a question of do you want to spend a, a fuck ton of time putting some of this, like, some of this stuff as it is, like putting the walls up and whatever, have taken an enormous amount of time. Um, you know, and so I'm, I'm trying to, you know, be better about it. All right, iron ore. 
All right, so that's it for that box. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to do with the Iron Ore. I think the best thing to do would be to actually just put it into Furnaces once again. Uh, I just I completely forgot about these boxes, honestly. Fuck, there's not a iron place. Is a, sorry, that's not a thing place. All right. I'm just going to take whatever we can. I know it's all on one side. I, I just, I, I don't care. As I said, it should work itself out, I, I hope. All right, all right. Now we can go back to what we originally were planning on doing, which was uh, this crap. So this one, I've kind of worked out, it is relatively good enough for what I want to do, which is uh, to make green chips um, at a reasonable rate. Um, that's all it does. Now we just kind of sit here and let the bots do their thing. This will get rid of a lot of the resources I do not want. I'm going to have to inverse some of this, but yeah. And I know that the iron still feeds in from the top, but I think I'm just going to have the line go all the way up there. I just, I don't feel like trading all these belts around. I, I do that enough as it is. All right, so they're running out of power, but that's okay. We just suck them all up. There we go. Now they're back at it. Yeah, it, it's like I, I like it's it's a lot, it's a lot. But we're we're essentially doubling our our possible green chip production. So while we're doing that, I can actually show you some other things here. So we can actually see our bonuses. So uh, mining productivity is now plus fourteen percent. Uh, research speed one hundred forty. This is from all the bonuses I've done. The 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 turrets almost do double damage. Well, they do do double damage because they fight. They shoot twice as fast and hit twice as hard. So you know it's kind of nice. Um, there's that. Alright, so this is now all powered up. And we can actually look at our power. Holy fucking shit. So, because I added another furnace line... Um, yeah, look at that. Uh, we're, we're, we're getting a much closer to that 480 megawatts uh, system. But luckily, like I said, I can just plug in a couple of... Uh, I can plug in a couple of things just to... You know, the same system I had, I had as before. You just put a couple more steam turbines in, and, and then we're good. Uh, so we, we don't really have to care too much about that, actually. So we'll do that when the time comes. Um, so I, I do have, yeah, I, I do use two uh, belts here. All right, so this is now going to go to the other side-ish. Yeah, so I go over here. All right, how far can this go? That was probably a bit optimistic. All right, so we need to do that. All right, that's all good. Basically the same thing I did on, on the other side kind of a deal, um, except it kind of reversed because of the way I've just worked things out, which uh, I guess it's not incredibly pretty, but whatever. All right, so let's bring up the other copper vein, and then we're uh, we're done with that. Then we're then we're going to be utilizing all the copper. Yeah, so like it, the game doesn't fuck around when it comes to copper. It just like you know, you just need more of it all the time. Feed me more copper. I'm gonna just put this uh, one tile down because it makes me feel better. Fuck. Can't reach that far. There's a mod for that too, actually. Unlimited reach. Alright. So that's it for that. Um, and then the last thing we need is we need the last uh, line to come up. And I don't think I have enough blue belts to make that into reality. We may have to go up and get some more. But let's just use what I got right now. Maybe I'll magically pull some out of my ass and no, that didn't happen. Holy shit. Oh my god, the fucking car. <laughs> okay, uh, pro tip for those at home, don't drive on blue belts. If you see a blue belt on the road, you should really avoid it. Alright. Alright, alright. So then we have this stuff here. Let's just take a stack or so. Yeah, that's good. We, we won't actually be having that much more to do with blue belts that much longer. So we're just going to try and get down here. Unfortunately, it's really hard to drive. 
Well, I, I ran over that thing, but apparently uh, that wasn't required for anything, so we'll just keep it uh, away. Okay, you know what? I really want to change how this works, too. Because I have the petroleum just kind of going through my base here like this. There, we'll do something like that instead. So, what should actually be happening is that... It should be more like that. There you go. Alright. So, let's bring, let's bring this... Uh, all the way up. Uh, okay, so I think this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna have another splitter here. Uh, output priority is gonna be here. Um, now, this last part. So we need to essentially have a blue splitter right here. bring the copper in and there you go and green chips are just gonna have to make it over there somehow I don't know how but you know they're gonna have to make it there somehow this is when it kind of gets like I've been trying to avoid avoid the belt the belt spaghetti for as long as possible but the thing is you can never truly avoid the belt spaghetti it it, it eventually takes over your life gonna do something like this so remember I had a I had something I was gonna just plug into over there and I can still make it there uh, all right cool all right that's a little bit more green chips than we had earlier uh, very nice uh, and we're also going to probably blue, blue belt uh, this because if if it becomes uh, oversaturated over there, we would prefer that it goes as quickly as possible to the other side, uh, to this side at least. Um, like, we, we, we want it to go to the main factory, obviously, but um, the important fact is we have it going here. And this is kind of ties into why we even had this as a red belt to begin with. Uh, apparently I made them yellow belts again. So... Let's just upgrade all these. I'm not a smart man. Alright, so now it's blue belted over here. Um, if it ever gets to that point. It basically needs to kind of like, not be using it so much within the factory. The factory has a yellow belt. Um, and the rest of it doesn't, so... And it's not, it's not bad, it's not bad. Now there's a bit more copper left. In fact, I probably actually could have left the fifth one in. Now I look at this. Because we're actually not utilizing the copper 100%, or are we? I mean, it's, it is going in. How about this one? Yeah, it's it's slowing down a little bit sometimes. Um, it's so weird, actually. How this works. Cause it, it looks like it's just it's just eating it all. And the middle line obviously like I said is, is the it's the stuff of the main factory and the and the red belts. So we don't actually too concern ourselves with that. Um I mean, I don't know. I don't know. was it pot I think I, I don't think it's I think it's just enough that I don't need yeah, I think it's just enough that I don't need a second um because you you notice how it is actually all going in. To the, to the actual the, the copper places. It's just weird how it's kind of backed up here. It's maybe just slightly not enough sort of a thing, which means I could have maybe done something interesting with that. Yeah, here it's now getting actually backed up, so... I don't know, we maybe could have the fifth line here. The, fi the fifth line there could still work, actually. It's very cool how it works out, though. I should have maybe done that. Fuck. I now regret many things. Um, which means that this needs to be pushed up slightly then if I did that. Uh, because, uh, if I don't want, I had, no, actually, it really doesn't. You know, what the, what the fuck do I keep trying to do here? Trying to, like, line things up again by, like, one pixel. I don't know why I always try and do that. But, like, having an extra line of, uh, green chips being made would not be the worst thing in the world. But you see how they're actually making it further down now. 
but not quite that far down. This is fucking five furnaces pretty much going all the time of copper. And the only one that's not going all the time is that middle one. The middle one doesn't know what to do. Because uh, the middle one isn't being used enough, but it will fix that in time. Trust me, it'll, 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 it'll do its thing. Alright, well now no more blue chips are making it to the end. Um, so not too concerned about that anymore. So I think we're ready for high-tech science. But I really actually might want to fix that. No, actually I don't think I need to fix anything. Because I look at this one and it's like perfectly fine. So I'm not sure... Oh, these are the ones that I added the copper cables, the, the additional copper to. I think that's what happened, is that they were backed up anyways to begin with. So I think in the end it will use it in the end. So I, it, Okay, we're not fucking touching it. All right. Oh yeah, um, one more thing that we're going to do. One more thing. So we did add a little something here. Um... I'm not too sure about this actually you now. I need to do this. Actually, yeah, something like this. All right, so I wanted to have it so that if it has excess, which it does appear to, it goes to the rest of the factory, um, which is pretty easy to handle. Just kind of do something like that. And now there's even more of a line. That's, that's why he was doing with the gears before. Basically, excess goes into the rest of the factory. That's how we handle uh, the excess. There is always one line always going into the factory, but if there's additional, uh, if like the gears aren't using it, I'd rather divert it to other parts of the factory. So this is kind of how we try to handle that, at least. Um, apparently, I, I'm splitting it over here, though. The output priority should actually be over, over here. Uh... So we should do something like this. This is actually the best idea. Okay. That's a little bit better. And you can see now that it's not, not as much as coming through here, but at least it's not wa it's not wasted. It is it is going somewhere. And that's what we kind of wanted. Um, all right. All right. So that's, that's good now. I don't have to deal with that anymore. Uh, that's good. All right. I'm ready for the big one. Drum roll, guys. We are working now on production science. Uh, sorry, uh, high tech science. Um, this is our official leap into the uh, and uh, the the late game. Um, not necessarily the a the end game, but the, definitely the late game. I'll say that much. Uh, for Factorio. So it's a big step. Um, so as you as you saw, like basically what was needed to begin with was to. Uh, scale up our copper and iron dramatically so it's it's just weird how that works but it that's just how it, it happens is like when you go into that point you're like shit I need a lot more copper all of a sudden uh, to make all these green chips to make components uh, this is stupid etc you, you rage and whatever so uh, here's, here's how we begin it so we fortunately have a couple pr production modules done so we're good with that um, but let's get into the actual nitty gritty of this. So, uh, we already have a good stack of assembly machine three, so that's all good. So, uh, to start us off, uh, we have science pack threes, um, and those are uh, interesting. Actually, for that matter, we need to we need to I actually need to red belt the um, the copper down. I forgot about that. Do I have a singular? Red belt coming over here? Or, okay, so, oh, I see what I did. I diverted it there and also to here. Okay. So, yeah, we need to red belt this now. Uh, this copper line. It's gonna be kind of necessary. Doesn't need to be a, a, a blue belt. Let's not, let's not, let's not be hasty here. Oops. This is red belts, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. So we need to red belt it all the way up here, and then this is this is the, by the way the last science we actually have to make anything for, and it's the big one. This is all the nice stuff. Um, um, it's just the good one. Like that's that, that's how we have to refer to it as. Okay, so here we go. All right, so we need four high tech science packs. We need uh, one battery. We have that on line. Uh, one speed module. We also have that on line. Good stuff. We made that really easy. What the fuck's this?
Uh, oh, I left this half-assed. Oh no, okay, I'm fucking retarded. Sorry, I looked like it was, it was incomplete, but it was actually taking them from this, my bad. All right, so yeah, so we need, um, so luckily the battery and the uh, the assembly, uh, the, the speed modules are already on the same line, so we don't have to worry about that. Two things you have to worry about is processing units and copper cables. Now that one's a fun one. Um, so I do this in interesting ways, I assure you. I'm just thinking about the best way of doing it for me now. Um, luckily it takes like 14 seconds to make, so we don't actually have to really worry about it, but the main thing is the copper cables. I'll kind of show you what I do. So, um, the ratio isn't perfect. So like, uh, point, uh, every half a second you can make two copper cables. And so that's like kind of like 30, I think. Um, cause you have... It makes every four, yeah, because it makes every 14 seconds, right? If it was every 15 seconds, it would be perfect, but it makes it slightly faster. However, we're going to productivity module later anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter. Um, so the, the ratio is good enough, um, which is, yeah, um, fucking math, man. All right, so we do that. Um, we don't actually have to make anything related to this really here. Um, let's kind of do this. Um, this is kind of how I do it. Now, the one problem with doing it like this is that this, this place has to have room for, uh, more of it to come in somehow. And I, I'm not sure how we're going to make that happen because I have one copper uh, cable machine for each one of these, but, and then there's going to be one line with, with, um, actually I know how to do it. I know how to do it. It's actually going to be stupid, but whatever. It's not the stupidest things I've ever done, let's be honest. All right, so we're going to do... Uh, so it needs just a little bit of batteries and stuff, so we can bring that over there somehow. Um, luckily, we don't have to divert the line in any major way. It's just whatever. Uh, let's try to think if there's any like really cool things I should be doing here. As I said, I just have to yellow belt it, so it's pretty simple. All right, that's, that's one component. So luckily, as I said, it works perfectly fine. We don't have to do anything with that. Um, next thing we need is we need some component chips. Uh, so, so just do this. So that's not too difficult either. Rocket shooting speed. All right. Uh, let's do, I don't know, fucking car worker cargo size i guess I'm trying to think of this anything else actually no let's do insert a capacity bonus because those are nice all right so now we have our blue chips by the way blue chips are still slow for some reason i think it's because there's just too much green chips being i mean r realistically the only way to get more uh uh green uh, blue chips is to make more <laughs> more green chips that's the only way to do it you need another fucking copper line so i don't know if i'm quite ready for that uh this might be enough components honestly because it it's actually backing up it's it is actually backing up so let's just not worry about that for now let's just assume it's all going to work out fine um how many of these do we need we need seven so one two three four we're gonna make eight and it's gonna be for later uh because also because the copper cables don't come fast enough too. All right, let's put some inserters in. So that's where copper will go. Uh, so this one's gonna be. Uh, there has to be a a red belt. So you have to red belt copper over too. Oh my lord, like this is this is like the biggest milestone in this game by the way. Uh I could gotta bring it up there now. So I'll show you how I'm gonna have it work. It's gonna be really weird. Just decided this is how it's gonna work. Alright, so luckily components uh we don't have to worry about that too much, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do something like this. No we're not. Okay. Um going to eventually do something like that, but...
All right. Um, yeah, it's going to be a bit of this belt spaghetti here. All right, so this is all it really kind of needs for that. Um, I also probably should light some of this up so we can actually fucking see what we're doing. Uh, problem is that we don't actually have power poles. Uh, I mean, it would, it would actually be pretty good to actually utilize some of these substations. But it doesn't look like it's going to work for the bottom one anyway, so... It's a very sad story about how this doesn't work out, but yeah. Alright, now we can kind of see more of what we're doing at night. So, yeah, you can see how many copper cables this shit needs. It's already just eating through all of that. That's why we have a, a red belt line coming down. We don't actually need this stuff that fast. Um, which is probably why it actually should have not gone down here. Should have gone one more up. So now I'm going to just eat a bunch of speed modules for no reason whatsoever. Alright, um, and then we're going to do that. So it has to. So the way the way inserters put things back onto belts is they put it on the highest part of the belt. Um, that's how that works. Um, so if we do something really funky, actually, uh, so we what we want is we want these components to be on uh, one side of the belt and particularly the the bottom part. So the way to do that is to do something weird like this. So now it's on the bottom part of the belt and it frees up the top part of the belt. Uh, and then, so what it will do is when it's done, it will put it, it'll put it on the top side of the belt. And then what we do is we separate it like so. And that is how we will <laughs> do this. A little bit weird, I know, I, I, I just basically I don't even know if this counts as like belt spaghetti and I know everything's out of power here as well. Alright, so let's, I mean we could actually do, just do power lines like right here. Alright, we just got our blue, uh, our high tech science working. This is just what was needed. It just, it's gonna eat through this copper cable so fucking fast. And already as it is, like we're already running out of components. But there we go, first, first little bits of uh, high tech science coming right out right now uh so we're gonna dive uh it's gonna share a line with production science i guess um question is how to get it down here uh i mean actually that's that's super easy to do i don't know why i'm thinking it's hard because we have because the, these belts go for much longer distance than the other stuff does uh, not really. Okay, just substation it. So the substations were designed for. For fixing little problems like this and not having to deal with pro power issues like that. There you go. Oh, the only problem is uh, this is now in the way. Well, that's an easy fix as well. I'm just uh, yellow belted over here. Ta da. Alright, so let's get our high tech science packs down here. All right, there you go. Actually, before we continue, before we continue, I am fixing up this place because this does not work anymore. Um, so right now our science is going to get faster or actually more efficient because we're going to productivity module the shit out of it. We're finally at that point as well. Um, so now we got to make a better layout for it. Um, I mean, I kind of made one and I thought maybe it would work, but like then it became kind of like confined to this space. Um, so I actually would like to make it much better than that. Um, and that's, let's see what we can do actually. I, I, haven't, I haven't quite planned that out either, but we now have 39 productivity modules. So that's kind of nice. Um, so this will make the machines work a little bit slower. Uh, increase their producti uh, pro productivity by a huge margin. This is, by the way, the best machine to start off with uh, making like different sciences in so let's uh let's just delete all this crap uh and let's see what we can get 
So I'm just going to remove pretty much most of this. Yeah, whatever. No one fucking cry me a river of science. Fuck it. Whatever. Just have like some power over here. Finish what you're doing. All right. So we have that. And so what I would prefer it to do, I prefer it to kind of be really close net like that. I don't think there needs to be any gaps, uh, but it does mean that there has to be a way for this to get into each one of these. So it's going to be something like this. Uh, fuck. Because these are going to kind of go... So I'd like to have it go like uh, this, insert that inserter, and then another one of these. So it's going to have to be like an underground belt going over here. Something like that. And just copying and pasting over the, over and over again. Which means, so this guy is perfectly kind of fine doing this. Uh, I wish I didn't make it so close to that now, but whatever, it works out. Uh, fuck. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Let's do something like this. So this is how we do it now. This is how we do it all the way around. Uh, we need some more uh, inserters. So I think this is actually right now even copy and pasteable. All right, just remove all this crap. My little bots. So it's gonna have to come into the center again. Um, I, my god, this looks disastrous. It's all worth it for our science. Alright, so I don't know how many more we're going to need, but we do have a shit ton of these, pro these productivity modules that we're going to just place in everything. Alright, let's see how this works out if we uh, blueprint this. Let's uh, try and do something like that. Oh no, it has to be over here. There you go. Oh my lord, what does this even need? A couple more science machines. I haven't exactly powered this all either. Um, but this is the best way I could think of to do this. Uh, yeah, we kind of need some more stuff here. So these are also bitching that they're, they're missing, um, they're missing productivity modules. So that's also a thing that you can blueprint things with in mind, the fact that you have a, um, uh, you can blueprint things with, with, with in mind that you're always going to have modules for stuff. Uh, oh, I did not mean to put that in there. Oh, we wanted that. That is something you can do. Uh, it's very nice. But this this does fix our issues here. And yeah. So hopefully if I need any more, we can uh, do some other shit with it, but yeah. So the idea is we just kind of go up here. And this hopefully just goes all the way through and then it'll just grab whatever it needs to from these belts. I know it's confusing as shit, but you know. That's uh that's the story of Mike Lat's life. Alright, we'll do something like this. So yeah, they're complaining that they, they, they're missing the modules they need now, but they, they can function fine, they just don't have modules. But the idea is, that's going to be the first thing we productivity module, is the science machines. Because those are the things, I mean, honestly, we probably should have done the first ones. But yeah, those are the things that require it the most. And then, as you can see, when this when this bar now fills up every time, it's going to basically add an extra unit of science to everything. Which means that it saves on the enormous like resource requirements of said like sciences like this. Uh, it's going to be crazy um, how that works. 
But yeah, and then I also had a bit more blue and green science, I think, at some point. But yeah, it'll be fine. So it'll, it'll, it'll be doing its thing for a little while, I assure you. I'm going to get rid of some of these batteries and things. So it looks like, very fortunately, it looks like there is enough... Uh, the components are the problem right now. Um, everything else is fine. I mean, we could productivity module those too, but I don't know if that's worth... Probably is, honestly, with the amount that it uses, but eh. Cause I, I like using the the highest tier one as well. I don't know. I don't know, man. Is that is that worth product to be moduling now? It, it probably isn't. Oh, there you go. Just kind of used it all up for me, thank you. I don't know, I might, I might productivity module these instead, because it's just like, the amount of green chips this shit uses, man. It's insane. But anyways, yeah, blue chips are the issue right now. Um, and there isn't really much of a fix for this. Um, there's really not much we can do about that. Uh, besides making... Uh, making another uh, two copper stops. How many does this use? Yeah, this is, uses two blue belts worth of copper. So the only way to fix this would be to, like I said, um, bring it over. Like I, I, I'm trying to identify the problems. And it, it is actually, everything's making green chips as fast as humanly possible. Like we'll, we'll actually go have a look at that right now. But we actually have our first uh, ability to actually use um, this kind of science. Now, like I said, the blue chips are also now being used over here uh, on, the, on these machines. So that's also something to just kind of keep in mind. Um, that could be an issue. So it could be part of the, the problem. And like red chips aren't coming fast enough either because yeah, that's where some of it's actually going right now. It's going into here. Why are you not producing anything? Oh, because you don't have enough green chips here. How about you? Not enough copper cable. You have 14 right here. Uh, why don't you get copper? Oh, because that's why. Well, I mean, that's really not going to solve anything here. Yeah, so... Welcome to Factorio. Um, uh, now, now we're at stage two of Factorio, which is f uh, Factorio: The Quest for More Copper. I mean, the trains are going relatively smoothly through. Which is a question of: Do you really want to? Like, look, it's there's not even there's one. One of them is not even at these one of these stops. Luckily, the, the it has stuff there. So, uh, but like the next train that comes in will probably go there. Yeah, here, he, here he comes. Apparently nothing in the front train. Why would that be? He's from he's from Copper 3. Where's Copper 3 at? Copper 3 is right here. What in the fuck? Alright, Copper 3 is the special snowflake and decided that uh it would do that, so we gotta go fix that now. I didn't realize I did that at the time. So I guess I'll fix that and I'll contemplate how to solve our little issues with uh, with production here. But you can see that things are actually going pretty good. So I'm wondering if there's some kind of research we should start right now. I'm letting, I'm letting the scientists kind of back up a little bit. I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to look at my factory to see what the choke points are now. Uh, like red chips is just not coming in now. It's just fucking copper, man. Like it may have been, it may have been a little bit too much for me to ask to to make this many. This is a very optimistic amount of uh, blue chips that I I wanted to make here. Um. I I I don't feel we maybe need that many, but, you know. Fucking hell. <laughs> uh, because this needs to be filled up all the way. I mean. We could furnace one more line of of uh copper we could it, and that would like if we got one more line of chips coming in 
that would solve everything. I would solve red chips, that would solve blue chips, that would solve everything. Because I could priority priority split it over here. Fucking hell. See, we're we're almost ending the episode, so I'm I'm, I'm just considering here if I need to, because it would it would need to be. Yeah, dude, that's way too much. So if we start eating that much copper, it just like the entire line is completely fucked. Like I, I gotta tell you, I, I gotta tell you what I'm contemplating here. So if I add another, uh, because of the how copper hungry these machines are, if I add another line of this stuff, it would require two more blue belts of of copper. Two more blue belts of copper requires two more stops. Uh, and two more furnace lines. So it's like you know how like the like the, these, uh, uh, sorry, one of these trains feeds uh, two of these furnace lines. So we need four more uh, lines of furnaces, two more blue belts coming in, a giant fucking splitter. I don't even know what the fuck that's gonna look like. It's probably just gonna like crash a computer at that point. Um, so and it's gonna have that, and it's gonna come up here into another line uh, for copper and stuff but question is do we very much want to do that and the answer is yes we do uh, which means the reason why I'm contemplating them now is that we should consider going for another copper mine um, what is the highest concentration of copper that we have like it's very sad to say that despite all the amount that we built here uh, in terms of copper mines and stuff like you can actually see, you can literally see it isn't enough. There's not enough green chips and there's not enough, uh, yeah, just green chips are the problem. Like not enough green chips coming for the red chips. Uh, you know, constantly some kind of issue here. So like I said, the only way, and like look at the red chips, just get fucking just destroyed on that line. We need another copper line. Sorry, we need two more copper lines. And we need another green chip thing here. So once again, I'm going to just copy and paste it because you've seen me do it several times. Um, so we're going to make another green chip line here. Um, and it's going to probably feed into this splitter right here as a blue belt. Uh, and we're going to go take over, I think, this one, the 4.8 million patch. Um, I don't think we'll need more than that but we definitely need a little bit more than what we have right now just trying to see if there's any other patches that were really good i mean that's it that's all we got guys <laughs> this is what you need in in fucking marathon mode there's a 2.8 million one there but i mean it's it's whatever i mean i think uh, uranium is still not a problem so let me let me actually let me actually uh, before we sign off let me just uh, go over what our prediction statistics are so let's say uh, for every minute, uh, we produce 10k copper plates per minute and 11k iron plates because the the middle line copper plates don't get used that often right now because it's there's still some holdup problems kind of thing. I mean we do have production science going and I feel like I should get some of this stuff out of the way. So I'll tell you what I'm also going to do for sciences since we're kind of on the way of doing this. Um, so by the way, uh, because we actually do have production science going, um, if we do speed module threes, we could actually go for rockets right now, which uh, requires a lot of a lot of everything. Um, so just to show you, so there's rocket silo requires processing units, electric engine units, pipes, concrete, steel plates, low density structure, rocket fuel, uh, rocket control unit, uh, rocket parts. Uh, so rocket parts require each uh, these three things, which is the fuel, the rocket uh, control unit, which is processing unit speed module, and low density structure, which is about a, a bunch of like basic stuff. So rocket parts are made inside the rocket silo, uh, and then you just make that you handcraft the uh, satellite, and then you put that inside the rocket silo. So you also need accumulators and solar panels, both of which I can make very easily. Um, that's not the problem. This is how you finish the game. Once you launch the satellite into space, you win the game. Um, I am not, I am planning on not just rushing it. I could, mind you, I could do that. Like, I mean, this 4,000 will take a while, but I'll, I'll get there. Um, now I've decided we're gonna have a bit of fun. Um, so 
I'm going to work on some stuff like uh, the fusion reactor, but the primary thing that I want to actually work on is this power armor too. So we actually do have the ability to make another set of power armor. Uh, this is the uh, Mark. So my current one is this one. It's modular armor. It has 5x5 in, uh, in equipment size, inventory bonus of 10, and some other crap like that. Um, I'm just going to go, I mean, I could just make that now, actually. I don't know. See this thing, this needs 250 processing units. So this is kind of why I didn't want to just fucking rush that, but I, yeah, let's, uh, let's go, let's go make the good thing. So the thing, the thing that this modular armor needs is it actually needs five, uh, efficiency module threes and five, uh, speed module threes. And you, you've noticed how slow they've been being made right now for just processing units. It's insane. Uh, luckily it's interchangeable. So, you know, once I make it, I make it once and then I have it forever kind of thing. But yeah, I, I, I just figured we'd just shoot for this one. Why not? You know, honestly, it doesn't make a big difference. So I'm just going to do all the researches for that. Um, and yeah, we're going to get more copper. Uh, I'm going to get this patch, I think. Uh, there's another copper patch looking like it's a little bit up there, but yeah. So we're going to go for that patch. Maybe that patch too. I haven't decided. Actually, I think I have to. We're going to get both patches. So I'm going to get both. Uh, and then I will resume the LP from uh, that point. So, yes, you really do need this much copper. Um, every time, Every time I do a high tech science, it surprises me too. But that's, that's just what it needs. Um, it's insane. So yeah, so I'm gonna resume from that. I'm gonna spend a bit of time getting up to that so we can get another line of green chips coming so I can maybe have a full green, uh, blue belt full of this stuff. And then, uh, and then when, when this is coming in as like basically a blue belt, then we know we've succeeded. And then, that, then it should be more than we can handle. But yeah, this is also why productivity modules are very required as well. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, yeah, more copper coming soon. Um, fuck, I can't even fit furnaces over here anymore. Uh, Sad so story. I'll just put it like right there. It's fine. Oh, I, I'm going to just go based on the assumption that I'm not going to need any more of this game than, than what I'm making here. So this is going to be the last stop for copper, I hope. Um, I, I, if not, then there's going to be some more belt spaghetti somehow to get this fucking copper where it needs to go. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right. Peace out. See you later.